Shalom, if this is your first video watching of ours, my name is Cody, this is my wife, Sarah. We are in the northern edge of Chinatown in New York City currently. Um, but today's video, we're gonna at least start off with $2 meals in New York City. Because the other day, I needed to get lunch, Sarah wasn't with me, so I was trying to figure out what to eat, and I had no ideas. I didn't really, really wanna eat the same things that I eat every single day, and so I just set out in a random location. I ended up coming across at a restaurant that had a sign in the window that had $2 lunch options, and so, so I was like, well, I gotta at least try this because if it's actually good, <laughs> it's only $2. And so I did. It was decent for $2. Um, I'm gonna have a hard time selling Sarah on it. Um, <laughs> And normally for breakfast, like especially on a Saturday morning, we will go to Starbucks and we'll get, uh, we won't really eat breakfast, we more so drink it, um, but we'll get two uh, chais and we'll get a croissant to share, which is not $2 <laughs> at all. Um, but I found another place here on Grand and Forsyth, that's right next to Saturday Roosevelt Park, um, that is a bakery that has a $1 croissant. Also going to see what else they have. We'll start there for breakfast and then we'll venture on and see what else we can get for two bucks a meal. So they actually have a bunch of different uh, breakfast options like ham and cheese, all these different, I don't know, eggs and rolls and all this stuff. But all of it has meat. We are vegetarian, so the only option really they have for us is a croissant. But Which I would use anyway. We got two of these massive croissants that are nice and flaky and a milk tea for $3. We thought it was going to be $4 and she said $3. The milk tea is really good. Yeah, the croissant taste kind of has kind of a sweetness to it. The uh, top of it is caramelized a little bit. So with two teas, two croissants, $4, two bucks a piece. So I just noticed that they actually have a few other non-meat options. So they have a cranberry, coconut, and pineapple bun, and then a egg cluster. So that place is called Harper's Bread House, and honestly, that was nine times better than what I thought it was going to be. Like, I really thought it was gonna be like, yeah, I mean, it's okay for a dollar, but like. No, it's good. It's just good, like even if it was just regular price, it would've been like, yeah, that was good. Right, yeah. But so, since it was a dollar, it was delicious. <laughs> yeah, for a dollar, it was Grand Slam <laughs> Denny's. So that gets a full recommendation for us on breakfast, but also you can get $2 lunch there as well. They have $2 chicken sandwiches, $2 fish sandwiches, and uh, they have like a dollar twenty-five like um, regular, like basically deli meat sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> So several hours have passed in that few seconds of b-roll that you just saw, and it is now time for us to grab lunch, which we're gonna do at the place directly behind me, which is called Delicious Wong Bakery, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the place that I passed the other day that I saw in the window that there were $2 lunch options that uh, sparked this whole idea. Yeah. So I actually have very low hopes that Sarah's gonna like this. We're gonna try it anyway, um, so let's do it. Space, so we are sharing our table, and we were uh, just informed we need to try it with the sauce. Yeah. Thoughts? I'm just being nice. So these are called steamed rice crepes, I guess. Um, I tried to Google that. 
and nothing really came up to figure out what this actually is. First time I got the egg one, it's pretty good. Sarah has tried the corn, the veggie, and she says, The corn is better. The corn is better, but she's just being nice. We uh, walked across the street to this park that I didn't even I didn't even know we had a track here a track and field and then there's a uh, groups of Chinese men passionately playing Chinese checkers mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but we walked over here because the restaurant was very small and there were people literally sitting at our table with us um, so it was a little awkward like talking about how we liked the food as yeah. we had an audience watching us it, it was yeah really small everyone was Chinese we were the only white people they were like telling us like oh put the sauce on this dude you know telling us how to eat it and then watching us eat it so I couldn't be like <laughs> This yep. is not great. <laughs> so I had um, half of my corn one, and Sarah had some of her veggie. Then yeah. we switched, and I would say that we both liked the corn rice crepe uh, thing. thing better. <laughs> but they have many different options, like pork and chicken and all the meats. Um, veggie options are green onion, egg, veggie, like steamed veggie type, and then uh, corn. Yeah. They're all $2, no matter what you get, yeah. 2 bucks. What did you think, though? Would you eat it again? No. I thought it was pretty good, especially for $2. Um, I don't think it was as good as our breakfast for $2. Like, I would be okay with having that every day. But if you are uh, in Chinatown and want a super cheap lunch, I actually would recommend it. Yeah, they were all very nice. I think yeah. they were excited, that, or like they were intrigued that we were like trying their food. <laughs> so that's cool. Sorry I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> So we were just walking and saw these guys painting this truck so we walked over to see what they're doing and then right next to them is this uh, grocery market underneath the bridge. Yeah. And then over here I see that there's some sort of festival or something going on so we're just going to walk over here see, see, what see what it is. The sign says fun, food, games. So my question is what church is sponsoring this? <laughs> So it is some sort of a uh, festival, but it seems very specific to Asian Americans. Um, the booths are all for like Asian American clubs and rotaries and things like that. So, but it is directly across the street from this area that I've never walked down, but is super cute with a perfect view of the Chrysler building. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on my wide lens, but we can try. <laughs> Your girlfriend? Wife. Your wife? We just met a new friend, uh, oh, re hello. really wanted a selfie, so just hopped in there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How old is she? 28. Oh, I thought you were like, in your 19. No. Nope. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, what's happening right now? <laughs> Can you not? <laughs> But since we walked down this street, saw this East Dumpling place, and you can get six dumplings for $2 or three for one. I am stuffed, so I'm not actually gonna get them, but there's another $2 meal option, at East Dumpling. Well, those are the only uh, $2 meals that I'm aware of other than Dollar Pizza, but I feel like that's a cop out. Everybody knows about Dollar Pizza and you can get it all over the city. Yeah. So for dinner, you can go have $2 Pizza um, or Dollar Pizza. Then you ate an entire day's worth of meals out yeah. for six dollars yeah maybe um, not the healthiest yes. meals but you're probably not gonna feel like a million dollars afterward <laughs> Um, but, but, but maybe like a dollar. Yeah, you'll feel like six for sure. <laughs> so if you know of any other $2 meals we can try or just cheap meals in general, yeah. uh, leave them in the comments and maybe we'll go check them out. Yes. Hopefully Sarah's sacrifice will come into good use for some of you. Uh, I guess we'll see you in Chinatown eating some $2 meals. Bye. Bye.